Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore the grunge maps in the noises. So uh, you have a whole big list of grunge maps. Uh, I'm very big fan of the grunge maps when it comes to creating some organic textures. Especially uh, you want to create an aged wall or uh, a, a weird out paint, metal uh, paint and anything of that sort. Mostly when it comes to aging, whether it is plastic, painted metal or stucco wall or anything, grunge map is my favorite. So let's explore this. So I would like to bring my first grunge map here. Okay. And then drop it into the height of the base material right click and then have a view in 3d and also connect this into the um, gradient and you should be able to see the way the texture is it, it is almost like a rough wall uh, which has been weighed out uh, through eight uh, months and years together and you end up getting this uh, sort of result is very common so i just go to the gradient and then uh, pick some nice uh, warm color and here okay you should able to see this and uh, we have the uh, metallic value in this uh, base material I'm just uh, bringing it down and you should see this uh, wall effect okay uh, so let's uh, see what all the grunge has to offer we have the balance and uh, it's controlling the uh, dark values to gradually becoming bright okay so uh, it's controlling the area of black and it's gradually expanding it okay so you have contrast and which uh, gives me more scaled or chipped effect of the same stucco wall or the whitewash walls generally what you see in the rural parts so I just take the grunge too and see what all it has to offer so I'm connecting it so for the better result I will be um, picking some bright colors there I'm just making this arrangement uh, more contrast so that you could see the way it is okay uh, so it also has got the same setting here and most of the grunge maps have this brush pattern which uh, brings down this uh, into a small patch of grunge which you can generally use it when you are tiling for stones and all um, so that is also very important so contrast gives you more scales uh, maybe useful creating some wooden box so I just keep uh, exploring this more okay a uh, scale now this is like paint daubs uh, that two were like vertically stretched but this looks more like a paint daub effect like generally we see uh, when floors uh, when you paint walls you get some paint falling on the floors and you get that nice uh, daubs there so you can control the density of these daubs as you're gradually increasing the daubs are becoming multi-layered and more daubs are coming on and you can make them more contrast and sharp or you can bring it down a softer okay so I've just made it less contrast and then I'm increasing the contrast you should be able to see that okay not, there is no much uh, change at this range of colors but yeah 
and then we have uh, this perfectly suitable for wooden bark effect okay uh, the tree bark not wooden bark sorry so when you are planning to make tree bark you can definitely are uh, using uh, rely using them and also it looks like nice cracks on a wooden handle okay you can create that nice effect and then when you reduce the contrast it should give you like uh, 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 some parts on some rough terrain which are basically rocks and all and then let's go with this this gives me the dripping effect okay a dripping wall effect and you could see uh, it's living to that expectation yeah it's very nice uh, you have the same settings in all of them and see uh, how it can generally help you this is awesome okay this is uh, having some uh, dots speckles and then scratches okay uh, again suitable for painted walls or vehicle bodies uh, which are completely aged and uh, the color is preserved where um, you know um, the scratches are there and uh, maybe you can invert it if you wanted them and then you get that scratches wear off on the object okay so explore these grunges they are very organic they are not like a regular noises you have uh, this has got some uh, cracks in it not cracks but it looks like a nice whitewash wall again and then you have another one same uh, all that uh, the big big brushes and their strokes are visible on it again it looks like a very organic wall texture which has been aged uh, for years now this god has cracks and uh, when you paint uh, uh, walls and the paint become flaky and then getting off from the object it's like a hard uh, uh, metal painted with uh, enamel and kept it uh, years together without any maintenance then you get this kind of details uh, and then you have this one uh, very hard uh, cracks uh, I get the feeling of um, a burnt wood okay so let me choose the colors here and then I will pick some dark red and then gradually I'll make it bright okay now this one becomes more dark okay so you should able to see that um, You're able to see that nice uh, effect of as if a uh, wood is burning uh, a charcoal red hot charcoal a wood wooden log burned for good time and then you get that that's nice and then we have this one let's see it's uh, just scratches okay you can use this uh, on some 
machines again aged machines so as i told you grunge is uh, basically a gift it has got a lo uh, lot of uh, living organic not living organic a um, lot of organic uh, details um, This got uh, the scratches. Uh, some of them are negative and some of them are positive. Positive scratches gives you that layer of grease and all that, and um, giving that nice character to this. Let me uh, go to the editor and then uh, instead of making this look uh, red, I will pick it nice blue it gives you that uh, machine which has been uh, having a layer of uh, grease top there okay uh, you can take uh, some dark colors it looks brand new you can generally pick more dirty color of the same so I mean uh, there is not much you can uh, do uh, when it comes to these grunge maps uh, I mean they are very ready to use it looks like nice uh, car or something and uh, having that nice grease thick grease on it it looks very organic for me that's what uh, you should able to see um, what's really happening uh, i mean what kind of textures you can use and where so exploring is a very big part of what we are doing and this looks like a very thick plastic being burnt on some already existing object and um, it's really nice I really like the way it came so it, it's like a burnt plastic layer it, it gives that nice blacks over the blue and this is just crazy lines okay again playing with colors can give you a completely different uh, look and feel okay and uh, when you use uh, like when you blend things it becomes more awesome we are only seeing one textures magic and imagine what if if i blend these textures um, with each other and wonders can happen with them and uh, if you ask me i can do it for whole day the same way I love doing this uh, combinations okay okay B basically it, it looks like organic microscopic cells or something that this guy this gives you that nice ripple effect or a wet paint which has been scratched and then it became dry 
it gives that uh, look and feel again this is a very organic uh, planetary uh, color but again it looks like a thar ball giving that nice odd colors but again if you start exploring uh, more fluorescent colors there that's cool it looks very nice some fictitious scientific uh, fictional uh, object which has got that something crazy blue okay we have the pattern size which uh, you can maybe try to give that non proportional thing and it looks like again a very popular uh, planet uh, you can explore orientation and uh, randomize the orientation gives you that crisscross things mm, it's not suitable for the planetary but it makes you give give some um, resin object you made with some all fibers in it randomly thrown so you get that kind of uh, feel but i don't really like so let me try with the scale and then this order which changes the phase of the object okay that's really nice we have perlin noise a very default noise you you can see this perlin noise in maya a very basic noise you have plasma just explore uh, combinations in different uh, color variations you get very interesting patterns there okay this is not useful uh, this one and uh, the later filters i'll directly go to the white noise and then that gives me that noisy surface and then we have another noise okay a different combination so yeah that's it about the noises and then see where you can use uh, i know you had uh, fun exploring this noises with me and uh, i request you to also explore the same thing because you know what's there in your treasure then you can use them um in future so it's important to know what do you have uh, with you so that's the reason i'm exploring um the way i learn procedural texturing is first know what you have inside so that's the take fra from for this exercise i mean why i'm doing this why i'm very much intended you know mm, on this uh, noises or or exploring node by node 